What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Torque Drift for another update that of the Big Wing update. I say Big Wing update because we got a new pro car, well, Japanese car, and uh, some body kits and stuff like that. And well, let's just go into the garage and uh, show you what I'm talking about because uh, this is definitely a Big Wing update. We have that S15 right there with that huge wing, and that's the new car that we got. And other than that, that 1100 horsepower car from Japan, uh, this car is definitely sweet. We'll be ripping that today. And to continue with the big wing theme today, we did get a body kit for the Corvette, which also, go figure, has a giant wing on the back. So I did get the vet to handle a little bit better. We are rocking a little bit different rims now, a little bit different tune. And uh, now we got a little bit of a wide body in the rear. So my livery is a little bit... Uh, distorted still looks good though so we're gonna run, be running these two cars for today here on this episode so if you guys keep on see torture make sure you tap that like button subscribe we're gonna go accept our sponsorship rewards right now i'm gonna collect that and we're gonna be using that so what do we got we get, looks like we got a tournament we could run in and uh well we could try running a tournament real quick with uh that new uh new car that we did get in the update one thing i did find with it find out with this car is the uh acceleration is kind of weird and it's very uh slow but once it spools this car just goes and it kind of holds where it wants to and i think we need to be in fourth gear for the long line but i don't want to sit here too long waiting for opponents but it would be nice to uh, try and do a tournament in this car. We kind of slid out. So we're going to wait a few minutes here and see if we can't get a, uh, a bit of a, a tournament going. Even if it's just a grade 8 tournament. See how we do. We're going to shift this up in the fourth. So this car is very loose when it comes to wheel spin. And you can see it just blows the tires off. And it's definitely a very slow to spool. But once it spools, this car just is a smoke show. And it just lets everything go we're just kind of uh doing a little freestyle in this car here today right now waiting for other competitors oh we're gonna run that wide a little freestyle for you guys right here like i said big wang update here today i said because we got this and the corvette body kit which has a massive spoiler and uh i do like uh I do like a big spoiler on a car. It's definitely kind of a cool thing to have. This car just rips in fourth gear. Bang that red line. So I don't think we're going to get into a tournament. So I think we'll probably just go do some normal battles. And see how we do in this pro car. And then take the vet out. And see how we do in the vet. So I think we're just going to go back into the lobby. And see if we can just find some regular battles to do. See, we got, let's see, we got the yard jump. Ooh, that uh, definitely would be probably a good thing to try. We got Abzu Escape Path and Skyline. We're going to go to the yard jump. Do a little uh, do a little hop, skip, and a jump in this S15. Like I said, the acceleration is kind of slow to begin. But uh, once it gets going, it's, it's definitely going. So I'm trying to figure out, maybe I got to tweak some stuff and uh, mess around with... Uh, Maybe not, just, nope, I thought maybe not over revving it would help. So now we are in power, kick it in, if I go up in the fourth, Ooh, running that wall, I thought I was going to click, uh, click my winglets on that wall, just a tap. Oh, we're dragging wing pieces. We are dragging winglets on the wall here with this S15. That was pretty sweet. So, a 100,000 100, point run. I mean, a slow start, which is kind of weird with this car. I don't know if maybe I can tweak some settings. I haven't really messed with it too much, but he got an 87,000 point run. So, the problem is catching up to them in the chase position with this car. Because usually they have a bigger acceleration curve. We're gonna go right into fourth. But once you get the wheel spinning, it definitely goes. 
try and get up in there and chase. He had a very good lead, so. Oh man, he's throwing massive amounts of angle. Just a little touch. We're still good. Choke. We were good. We gotta cut this angle a little bit. Try to get some proximity. So definitely want to fine tune some settings with this car, maybe some grip level changes and stuff like that. It is a very fun car to drive. Once it gets sideways, it handles really well. And once you can get in a chase pocket, it'll usually stay there. But it's just that initial get go that is a little bit, I feel like I could probably clutch kick it to get it going better. But we did take the win on that one. So that was uh, pretty cool to take the win. We got a little bonuses and stuff, get a little extra money in our pocket. He didn't want it. He didn't want another one. So now we're gonna switch it up and uh, take the vet out for a little uh, a little run here, 834 horsepower import rarity on uh, some uh, aftermarket tires. Different wheels now, but we got the big wing. Looks like we're going against him again, but now uh, we're going uh, with a different car. So we're gonna stay in third. We're gonna flick it out and use the jump to get us going. Probably not how I wanted to do that, but for some reason we did not lose our points. So it's a bit of a greasy run. Nope, there it goes. So definitely not the uh, the best choice of angle for this car right now. But we are still gonna try and complete it. So I have got the handling down a little bit better on this car. It's still not perfect. Definitely, as you can see by that run, definitely not a perfect run by any means. So, we're going to have a hard problem chasing him down. The car grips a lot, so I need to mess around with the uh, downforce a little bit more. Because uh, throwing that downforce on did uh, kind of tweak with the handling a little bit. But not super crazy. Oh, he must have hit a wall or something. So maybe we'll be able to uh, get a chase and still come out with a win with the vet. I'm just gonna try a straight line initiation rather than a quick flick. Kind of feather the e-brake to stay behind him. Or we're gonna flick it in with him. There we I'm gonna try and just flick it in. Oh. Try and tuck in the pocket. Oh, that's what he did. Oh, he just rode it off onto that wall. Now we just gotta keep power because I still need to get a tandem run. And uh, we are falling behind. Cut the angle, kick it in fourth. Try and just suck up as many points as we can in this latter part of the track. So, it didn't handle the jumps as well. So it's getting better. The car handles a little bit better now. Um, I can do full Cali Bank runs and Long Beach runs by far and not have a problem with this car. Need to do some fine tweaking and some fine tuning on it, but it's getting there. It's getting close. So let's go see what other tracks we can run because uh, I'm very uh, very intrigued on running some other tracks. So we're going to run Skyline and uh, of course we're going to bust out the Corvette first and then we will bring out the S15. So like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And uh, thank you to the Torque Drift guys for bringing, uh, bringing us some new, new cars and new content. So we're going to initiate in off throttle. Kind of gripping through it a little bit too hard. But we were able to somehow recover that. Gonna run as close as we can to that wall, flick it back this way. So if you guys were at, oh, at the last episode with the vet, you guys know that this is handling a lot better than it was before. Still not perfect. I'm still fighting some grip issues, but you know, we're gonna get it. I definitely like how it handles when it does handle right. Um, I did get a little help from uh, Fernan with the, you know, getting some tune, you know, working with this car. So we working with uh, maybe him and some other guys to try and uh, get the tune perfect on this vet because I do want to keep running this vet because it is a fun car to run. There we go, feathering the gas, staying on throttle, kind of trying to just. Tuck in that pocket as much as we can for a little bit back. Get as many chase points as we can. I don't think that's going to be enough to maybe take a W, but I think it might be because I think we had a good lead. We did be able to take that, so we took another W. So we are getting all the points and 
bonuses with uh, the Evil Rabbit sponsorship on the car for today. So now we're going to bust out that S15. I got a list of cars. Definitely going to start driving more of these cars and have more fun with them. It's definitely, uh, definitely fun. These cars are a lot of fun to drive. This car, I just got to figure out the, uh, this whole acceleration thing. Cause I mean, I guess, I guess that's just the best way to do it. Just kind of bog it out and let it just spool. I think it's this thing just has such a big turbo. It takes a minute to spool and get in boost. But once it gets in boost, this thing is a smoke show. Probably could have transitioned sooner, but this thing is just a massive smoke producer and it's a lot of fun to drive. So if you don't have this car and uh, you like S15s, especially if you like those big wings, uh, make sure you pick it up yourself. It's definitely a fun car. We lost our front bumper, but we'll be all right. So we're gonna try and just bang off red line. So a little clutch kick helps. This car has massive amounts of grip when you need it to though. So I was able to catch up, grip up, and be able to catch up speed. But I'm able to also keep it sideways, kind of banging on the door there with this car. And there's that uh, high angle smoke producing car. Oh, oh, wow. Uh. Do a barrel roll? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, that just happened, and we're definitely gonna watch that again. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Like I said, all of which are found in the description box below. I do appreciate all the support. You guys coming back and watching these videos. Big wing update here on Torque Drift. That was a nice uh, little uh, bump in there. Kind of a uh, run, bit of an outer line compared to where I should be running. Those eyelids look pretty sweet. I didn't notice it until now. And do a barrel roll. Nailed it. So, I think that's going to do it here for this uh, short video on the update. There's some other stuff in the update. Uh, make sure you guys check out Torque Tips information for all the information on the updates. And as always, I like, thank you guys for coming back and watching. Do appreciate all the support. And uh, I will see you guys uh, next time or on the track.